so now when you're doing like, these fashion shows, are you doing just makeup? Are you doing hair? Um, I've done both. Okay, what's your favorite? Or hair. Hair? Okay. Yeah, hair. I mean, well, it depends on the person, but hair. It's okay. fun. Good, good. Well, and I now, like both equally, actually, right now. How, how, how much passion do you have in, in doing these fashion shows? A lot. It's, a lot. It's the stress. I mean, even though you want to kill yourself the day of, and the night of, it's so upbeat. Everyone's happy. You're fixing people in the back. You're getting pulled everywhere. And before you know it, it's done. You know? <laughs> okay, so now let's, let's play around here and do a little bit of brainstorming. Kelly. Kelly. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's say Kelly wanted to, she has so much passion for fashion shows. Let's say she wanted to make a business out of this. What can this business of fashion shows be? Because typically you go to fashion shows, you go to work a fashion show. But what if she said, I am so passionate about fashion shows, it's my favorite place to be, it's behind and all of that craziness and all of that atmosphere. Since we're in such an entrepreneurial age, Let's make a business out of fashion shows so that you can be doing what you want to do, what you love to do, and be getting paid for it. Product, like selling products? Selling products, okay, okay. Products. Let's let, we're creating a business right here. Get into brainstorming. So start throwing out some ideas as far as how can Kelly make fashion shows a business. Tools. Excuse me? Tools. Tools, okay. And what is she doing with these products and tools? Like, like lipstick, she would just like sell that and all that. Okay. Shampoos, uh, well, maybe not shampoos. Okay, so at her event, she's going to be selling. So we'll put a little money sign from this. And this is, the money sign is going to represent how she's going to make money in her business. So at all of her hair shows, all of her fashion shows, she's going to be selling product and tools. That's going to help her cover the costs. Video education. Video education. Um, video education on she can have a platform or collaborate with a video team and have them maybe charge them a certain a certain price to allow them to come in and allow their students to play and video so she may be collaborating or even facilitate the whole situation but I feel like at the beginning you would want to stabilize in a smaller market as far as where you're at in your fashion show and just collaborate because collaboration is going to give you it's going to allow you to bounce off different people's social media bounce off the now you have a whole imagine if it was this department and the filming department if there was a filming department on campus so now if we did a collaboration versus the hair the cosmetology facilitating um, film in in our group here if we facilitated and took that film education over to the film group, now we have all of those students over there collaborating with us. So now we have new relationships that we're building. We have all of their social media platforms. So the main person who's running their department, throwing up the cosmetology every now and then. So I'll, for that, I would resource out. And But that's something you can definitely do. Yeah, you have a platform now. Some video production, actually. Yeah. Uh-huh. Video mm -hmm. production and saying, hey, I have a platform. I have an experience that I do. And I think it's an awesome experience. And we make money. And this is only one money sign that we have here by selling things. We bring in awesome people. So I think it'll be great for you, a great platform for you and your students to come and just flex their muscles and give them, maybe it can be their final. Maybe it can be something to inspire them to come. And this is how much I'm going to charge to give you access to my platform. So, yeah. so that's another money. All right, let's think of some more money. Okay, so I'm going to start with, I'm going to, we're going to put N in a little circle. That's going to be needs. Okay, so things that she's going to need. So now we'll put, she's going to need a team of stylists. Team of stylists. Team, I'll just put stylists. Team stylists. Okay, um, and then this is video. 
So she's going to need a team of stylists. She's also going to need somebody behind <coughs> the scenes booking education. At the beginning, for sure, she can be doing it. And, but she's going to need a partner that can not only book these classes, and excuse me, these shows, but also ha basically hand on the, the business cap. So dealing with people, because if she's running the show, like she said, it's hectic. So she can't be 100% dealing with booking the next show or making sure that she's 100% creating new relationships or making sure that she's 100% pleasing the client. So she's going to need that partner or that uh, director right under her, di that director of sales that's booking these locations out and booking her stylists out and, and, and making sure that her stylists are available. So that person. So you, you're going to need that person who's helping you run this business. What's another one? Contacts. Contacts. There we go. Um, booker. Contacts. Why does she need contacts? Advertising purposes. Okay. Advertising purposes. She needs people purposes. to come see her shows. Great. There we go. Contacts. Good ones. Yes. <laughs> So not only is this is, are you listening to this, Kelly? We are building your business plan here right now. Um, so contacts. Contacts is going to bring in people. This is going to bring in different big names that's going to pull the audience. To, uh, big As far as nowadays with social media, you can bring in someone who has a big following and bring in their following for advertisement. Once you have that big following and those big names, you're going to have people who want to give you money just to maybe advertise to like give you goodie bags like can we at least just you know we'll set up the goodie bags for you we'll have all the product for you all you have to do is you know just give it out we would love to get our stuff in your audience's hands so that helps bring in those contacts as well as people who context as well as people who have a lot of contacts as far as okay collaborating with different teams like uh, publicists this publicist might be able to reach out to all these different people and say, hey, um, one of my clients, Kelly, is having an event. I think it'll be perfect if you, uh, if you attended or if you um, collaborated with her for some type of reason. So even if you didn't have those connections and you still would need to build up your own connections, collaborating with people who do or hiring people who do have connections like a publicist. Okay? So getting those connections are a need. What's some other ideas for her business? Oh, giving classes. <coughs> giving classes? Classes. Okay, that's another money. Let's let's do out two more monies right now. Um, so right now we have another money because you got to think about that. How is she gonna make money? I have an idea for the next one. Right now we have classes. So after she's consistently been doing these classes, as far as she's been having successful shows, now she's having runway shows. Basically, now she's having classes on how to do the shows. That's giving her more money, as well as to allowing her to stack that money to put on the next show. Okay, so classes. Now, one of the things that I think could be a great money builder, classes, is basically who she's doing these shows for. Now, she could be putting in, she could be going out to local designers and saying, hey, what I do is my name is Kelly, and I have a business where I put on fashion shows for local designers, um, local artists, local businesses, and I think you'd be perfect for it. Right now I have a show coming up in June, and the lineup is really amazing. We have so-and-so from who is pulling these, uh, who makes these amazing designs, and they're very similar to the atmosphere and the, the feel of your clothing, and I would love to collaborate with you. This is all of the things we can offer. This is all of our contacts. This is the platforms that we have and what we do, and these are our locations and venues. Is this something that you'd be interested in? And not only, not, a, not even giving them that, but this is, this is what this business can do for you. This is what we've met with this one designer, um, Jackie. Uh, three, three months ago, we've met with her. We did her show. We just finished. We met her, let's say, a year ago, just to give a little bit more depth. We met her a year ago, just a cold call, just how I'm speaking with you, walking to her business. This January, we did her show. She signed up. We did her show. She had an amazing show. At this show, it was a 
500 count <coughs> attendees. In that attendees, I was able to pull all the people that Jackie needed to attend. So that was showroom owners. I pulled showroom owners, I pulled magazine editors, I pulled wardrobe stylists. All these people were in attendance of this fashion show that I put on um, that included Jackie as well as a few other designers. Now, four months down the line, Jackie's clothing is in six showrooms, and four of those showrooms were attendees of the people who were at this fashion show. She also has gotten her clothing on three different cover magazines. Two of those magazines were stylists that I personally <coughs> invited to that fashion show. So you're showing these designers the amazing connections that you have and the results of those connections. So as a designer, I'm like, hmm, well, I need to show my stuff anyways. It will be a great content we could do. We can push social media, and you can tie that into your thing, too. We have a whole social media team. Um, that'll be a need, too. We have a whole social media team that's going to captivate on this experience before hyping it up, during, and after. We have a whole strategy on how we have this experience. Okay, so this designer is going to be like, wow, all I got to do is pay you this amount of money, and I can get into your fashion show, and I get all of these connections, and I get this amazing social media boost. So that's going to be your clients. Okay? Give these clients to make this money. Okay? So now we need one more money sign. What's one more money? Let's say advertisers. Ads. She gets to the point, builds it up so big that it's about these contacts. This context is going to be very important for you. Who's coming to your events is going to be so important. That's like the biggest thing so far. Do you all agree? Yes. Right? Because once she has this, who's coming to it, she can easily get clients. She can easily get advertisers, which is all money. money. She can easily get this because people are going to want to have video. They're going to, because of these clients who are at her shows and these advertisements, these big names, they're going to want to be and do their video there. People are going to, these product companies that are going to be dealing with you as far as this, this doesn't matter. This could totally facilitate this because you can cut out the middleman. Buy the investments in bulk yourself. So this will be a personal investment. The stylist will want to be a part of something that's dealing with big clients. Okay. So your first thing needs to be think about this here, okay? All right. Well, that was a fun little business plan. Does this already exist? This I'm I'm sure I'm sure it exists, but it's on a smaller scale. Mm -hmm. Typically, a lot of fashion shows are put together as far as like, oh, let's just do a fashion show, or for fun, you know, or let's just do it to uh, promote a certain launch of a brand or promote a certain. A launch of a product or promote a certain launch of a a it's it's like a oh let's do this to get this result not a consistent business and then the other ones are established fashion shows that are say twice a year that yeah, come you know during the at fashion weeks different already establishments but they're not a consistent oh I'm going to make this my business okay so I think this will be great so let's give Kelly a round of applause for her amazing business. <laughs>